All right, guys, welcome to another day, welcome to another video, welcome to another adventure. <laughs> no, 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 no adventure today. Today, guys, um, as you guys already know, we bought our first boat, right? Our uh, Yamaha AR195. And obviously, um, we did some upgrades. And the second upgrade I'm doing to our boat is our uh, Trust Vectors driving in low speed low idle uh the boat you know it take time to turn left or right and it kind of drift on water so buying this uh trust vectors are gonna help a lot a lot on the handling um of the boat so this is my second update on uh, my boat so I just bought the Trust Vectors and also the Lateral Trusters. So this also is gonna help on the uh, reverse handling too. All right, so let's gonna open the box and let's see, um, let's see how everything goes. So, Lateral Trusters. The Lateral Trusters uh, 2.0, have this other baby these are the trust vectors let me show you here i don't know if you can see because of the light but we're gonna have to drill a hole on the left side and another hole on the right side so before we do that we have to tape to measure it have to be one inch from the bottom to the top and one inch from the left to right. Same thing on the right side. Just because um, we're gonna drill a hole here, but just to mark it. And one more, one tape on the right side. And we're gonna measure one inch. One inch and one inch. We're gonna have to drill the holes all right so now we're going to drill the holes first obviously you need a drill and you need a 1 8 inch um drill bit and also you're going to need a quarter inch drill bit so we're going to do the first hole we're going to start with the 1 8 inch first just to make the hole and then we're gonna use the quarter. have to change the drill bit the one eight is coming out and now we're gonna use the quarter inch all right 
There's the second one. So now, guys, we can take the tape out. To have it open. You can see, perfect hole. Perfect. This lock thing is going down, and this is going that way. We'll put it here. There it is. Now we put it tight, right there. Now we're gonna make the hole again. Is we just lock it tight, it's not gonna move. Then we're gonna put the right side, let it out faster. There it is. Push it down. Oh. There. Now we just keep it there. Push it down, then it should go perfectly. Oh, there you go. All right, guys, so now we're gonna get the screw. It's right here. And you can uh, add the uh, log tie. The log tie come in the package. The screw is gonna go from the inside. There it is. And then we're gonna add the other part from the outside. Gonna twist it. There. All right. Then we're gonna grab the Allen wrench. Let's put it here, and then with the flat screwdriver. All right. So Allen wrench is there, and with the flat screwdriver, we're gonna tie it here. There you go, that's the first one guys. So then we go to the second one. Turn this a little bit. All right, so this one we put the log tie again on the screw. All right, so the screw go on the inside. Again, there. And then we're gonna put the barrel fastener on the outside. Twist it, tie it, all right, then we grab the uh, Allen wrench, and the screwdriver, so we can tie All right, so like that, it's tight. It's not moving nowhere. And that's how you install the lateral thruster. So first, what we need to take out are this part. We wanna take out this, and then we are going to connect this plate with this part. All right, using the 10 millimeters wrench, we're gonna take that plate. All right, so we're taking that plate and we're not gonna use these screws, so we're just gonna put it away. And then we're gonna use the screws that you come on the package. So this is the plate the thing that we take out. This is the plate that comes with the kit. This is the screw. We're just gonna put a flat. Make that 
this and then we're just gonna use some Loctite just put it around all right so then we want to put this nut here and then we're just gonna get our Allen wrench and then we're gonna tie this just a little bit And then we're gonna add the other one. We take the nut out. The lock washer is gonna stay there. And we put the nut on a wrench. And then we tie this. There it is. And then this is gonna go here. Okay, so then we're gonna use the small screws. These two small ones that come in the package. All right now we are gonna take the anel and put some low tie, lock tie. We don't want any corrosion. Then we're gonna put the first one. This, I'm gonna put the first one, go in, there it is. Now we put the second one, lock tight. And we're gonna put the second one. All right, we should go quick. This tie it there. Good. All right. Now we put the plate. So like that, we we are extending this anel. Um, a little bit more to the back now we're gonna take this screw out we're gonna get a 12 millimeters let me see you guys can see from there yeah. okay so we're gonna take this baby out this is the screw and it come with this little wheel we're not gonna use this no more so this we're gonna put also on the side all right so now we are just gonna make sure that this hole is straighted so we're gonna take our left screw we're gonna take this the cylinder out plastic and washer and then we're just gonna put it inside and just go all the way in just to clean everything you know that is there just to make sure that we are all clean after we're all the way in all right so now we're gonna grab the left fin with the screw that's the um, screw with the washer and the little cylinder right there we put it inside and then we're gonna use this plastic gonna go here and this is only to separate um, the fin and not to touch the bucket reverse all right and now we're gonna put the lock tie here too and then we're gonna put it here
All right, now the left is done. Have to wiggle it a little bit. Here too, not too tight. Now we're gonna take the same process we're gonna do on the right side. So we just have to take this out. All right, so we took it out. We're gonna take the um, steering steering uh, cable. We're gonna unplug here in the bottom and the top. We're just gonna put it away because we need some more space. 10 inch in the bottom, 12. You just take it out and we just put it on the side. There's a little one, a little plastic one on the bottom and on the top. We're just gonna put this on the side. All right. So then, let me move the camera here. So we put the, the right side bolt with the washer. And then the one inch is tiny steel bushing. All right. And then we're gonna press the bolt from the outside, like this. All right. And then, we're gonna take the nylon protector and the spring and the short leg have to be on the this little hole. And then the another one inch washer and the little bushing. All right. So next we have to use the log tie. Lock tight and let's see. It's good. Then we're gonna insert this here. We're gonna assemble this right there. And just tie a little bit. When we know that it's inside, we're just gonna take. the spring which have to be just a little bit out so we have to move the spring from the side so we're gonna put the spring by this space here let me see all right so it's there now we're gonna tie this okay so it's already done so now we have to put the steering cable bolt we're gonna install that first we're gonna put the little plastic piece in the bottom which is there all right, so now we're gonna take the new bolt that came with the package. Let's see. So we take it out. Look. Now we're gonna install it from the bottom. Then we put the nut. So now we're gonna tie with the 10 millimeters. All right, now we're gonna add the actuator. Uh, what I like about this is look, they put the uh, brand and the name of the part trust vector on chrome and it looks super cool super cool guys so this is gonna go here see pretty nice pretty neat we go then we will install the first one
it's looking pretty cool all right so next uh we're gonna use our five eight screws with this let me show you and i'm gonna align it here right first one So this is the kickstand, kickstand guys, kickstand. So we're gonna have to take the bolt out, the spring, and the lead, okay? Bolt. Uh, we put it on the side. And we're gonna take the spring out. All right. And then the little cylinder, and that's it, that's it. All right, so you see we took out the spring and you see this i don't know if you can see there's a big hole right and below the big hole there's a small one right you see it so that's where this spring is gonna go this little part here but from the inside from the inside like this there okay that's how it's gonna go. All right, but we have to also put the kickstand, but I think it's gonna be easier to put first the spring inside here, the kickstand, and then put it in. Let's try this. All right, so I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it, but I put the spring inside. Now we're gonna try to install this here. I have to you have to move this. There you go. So I already put it in. And if you see, I don't know if you can see, but the little spring is inside all right so after that we need to add the screw it's gonna go inside and then we're gonna put that nut from the inside from outside the screw and the nut from the inside now we're gonna tie this So to test it, kickstand is there. All right, guys. So that's it. It's already done. So we have the lateral thrusters completely, and also we have the thrust vector also complete. This is a easily installed.